Welcome to the Simply Listed tutorial on how to make mock-ups for mugs. Now in today's example I will be using the District Photo Ceramic Mug, but really all of them work very similarly. So it depends on what type of design you're making. There's really two types. The all-over print mug where you have a design that wraps all the way around the mug, or more like a t-shirt design where you have a design on one side of the mug and another design on the other side of the mug. You may need different mock-ups for these different scenarios. So for example, I uploaded one mock-up for each type. So if I click on this one here that I made for this wraparound mug design, this is a smart mock-up basically that it has built-in shine. It makes it look like it's actually curved. Uh, but if you try and use a normal type of mug mock-up with a wraparound design, it might end up looking really cheesy like this. So I'll show you where to buy mock-ups just like this one to give it a much more realistic look without having to use Photoshop or any smart objects. And if you're making mock-ups for regular mugs like this one, then you want to use just a flat picture of a mug, not the actual AOP type ones, or else it'll end up kind of looking like this. And we don't want this either. And so I'm gonna show you both examples, so that way you can use the correct type of mock-up for each one. So where to buy mock-ups? I like to buy my mock-ups right on Etsy. If you are doing the wraparound mug designs, then you do need mug mock-ups like these, where you can see they show you right on the screen, and this is Maku POD. They're one of my favorite mock-up stores on Etsy for kind of all over print items like blankets or phone cases or mugs, like something different than clothing. You'll see you can tell the shine and the shadows that they build into these photos, and that is going to be applied on top of your flat image to make it look more realistic. Now for regular mug mock-ups, you can really use any mug mock-ups that you like that are kind of the more flat flat ones, so we can just look through. There's gonna be a million examples of mug mock-ups that you can use that aren't those, um, that are just normal flat images like these or like this one. So tons of options for you for those ones. So coming back over to Simply Listed, I will show you this template that I created. So here it is, if we click Edit, the way that you use the smart mock-up that you purchase is a little bit different than normal. So here you can see where I've built the template. So what you'll do is you will, I'll delete this, you'll add the mock-up that they sell you as the background image. But you can see here, this is where the transparent part of the design is. So we kind of need to make a sandwich. So once you've added this, then you need to add the print area. So again, this one is for the all over print mug mockups. So here you'll see this is the full print area from Printify. So that's why it looks a little bit weird. So when you actually go in, let's say, and just like edit one of these, you'll see the print area on Printify is this big long print area box. And so that's what Simply Listed is pulling into our platform. And so since you're only putting the design in half the mug, you will extend this print area to cover where the mug's going to go and be something like this, go all the way to the edge, and you can lower the opacity slightly, but you don't really need to with these ones because they have these filters built in. So then what you'll do is you'll add that same image, you see here how it has the shadows and everything built into it, and we will move that to the front layer. So if you see here, if you have multiple layers, you can click on it, and you'll see this little hamburger layered elements button, and now I can drag this one oops, as the top layer like that. And as long as it's lined up perfectly with the bottom layer, now you can see our print area is behind this. So every time you use this template, we will automatically put your design from Printify behind this top layer, lower the transparency a little bit so it will look so much more realistic. So that's how you make the templates for the all over print ones. The not all over print ones is a little bit um, simpler. So this one, there is one limitation with Simply Listed that you do need to know. And that is right now at this time, Simply Listed can only pull one design from Printify per print area at a time. So if you're making your designs like this, where you're uploading a design on this side and you're uploading your design on that side, 
then whichever one you upload first, so this file is going to be the one that shows. And so right now, the left one is going to show up when you put it on Simply Listed. We can only pull one of these. And so if your template is showing the left side of the mug, then I would recommend showing the left side of your mug for your template, um, for your print area. So let me show you, I'm gonna delete this print area. So you just have a flat picture of a mug. And then just like before, we add the print area and we'll make it to where it covers the space of the mug, right? Kind of go all the way to the edge there. But then what you'll need to do for this one is you'll need to crop it because we don't want the design showing past this if it needed to. So you can click this cropping button. Now you'll see these little arrows pop up to be able to make the print area smaller. So if it's off the screen, you can just start cropping the other way and you'll crop it to the edge of the mug like that. But anytime you use our cropping feature, you do need to reposition it. So you see here, right now, it's going to show the middle of the design. So again, we want to show the left side of the design. Typically with mugs, I leave just a teeny bit of space since that's the part that kind of curved towards the handle and click apply image. And that's how you build the templates for these. So like I said, if you have it to where you go to make the mockups for your template and the design doesn't show, on the correct side, then it may be that the design you uploaded is on the other side of the mug. Now one easy way to fix this is to have a canvas on Canva and save the image on both sides and then upload this whole image to Printify instead. So I'll show you what that looks like. So instead of having two different files, to make it easier to use Simply Listed, you could just save it as one file instead. So here you can see this is one file where it has the horse on either side. And so then that way you wouldn't have to worry about which side the handle was on. We are looking to find a solution for this to be able to pull multiple graphics within a print area, but just at the moment that is a limitation that we have. And so then, like I said, this is what you'll get when you create mockups for the more flat looking ones. And you, you know, we could lower the opacity on this a little bit more if you need to. Um, and then this is what it would look like if you used that to make a wrap around design. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If you haven't tried out Simply Listed just yet, there will be a seven day free trial linked down in the description. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer support team by hitting the chat bubble in the bottom right hand of the screen. We're always happy to help.